Well, the Anti-Defamation League just released its campus anti-Semitism report card. The ADL says that it produced the study during a time of volatility on campuses and to provide a roadmap for improving the environment for students. The list on the report card is comprised of the top national and liberal arts colleges in the United States with the highest Jewish student populations. Here now to help us analyze the results of the report card and break down the findings is Rabbi David Wolpe, visiting scholar at Harvard's Divinity School and the ADL's first rabbinic fellow. Rabbi Wolpe, great to be with you today. So talk to us about why the Anti-Defamation League felt it was so important to put out this list. And what does it say to you that the group had to do it in the first place? Well, geez, uh, let me take the second question first, which is, uh, what it says to me that the ADL felt compelled to do it is that we are in an extremely difficult time. And uh, I know that as a rabbi, I'm constantly getting questions from Jewish parents about where do I send my child where they will feel like they can just go and get an education and they won't have to deal with discrimination or bullying or harassment. Um, and so I think that the ADL's report was intended to let parents know this is what you will face if you go to these various places. You have to judge depending on the character of your child and their sort of resilience and toughness and desires, uh, whether this is something that you want to face or not. Um, my own hope is that it will not discourage people from attending these places, um, but it will force these places to make them better. That's the real hope. Yeah, and there are 85 colleges and universities um, on this list, including many Ivy League schools, uh, but not one of them, not one of them, the Ivies, received an A on the report card. No. However, quite a few did get Fs, like Harvard. Um, and, and of course, uh, as we mentioned, you are a visiting scholar there and were once on the university's anti-Semitism advisory board until you resigned back in December. Rabbi Wolpe, what's going on at Harvard? What are they doing wrong? And in your opinion, what do they need to do to get it right? I, I want to say that it's not easy to get it right, but it's simple. That is, everyone knows what has to be done. You have to enforce the laws that exist. You have to actually have transparent sanctions for people who violate the laws so that other people will be discouraged from doing it. You have to punish people who bully or harass other students, especially based on religious or ethnic or other identities. Um, you have to ensure that certain extreme kinds of speech, um, like swastikas and, and uh, statements to kill Jews, are banned from campus and sanctioned. I mean, all these things are actually pretty easy to, to enumerate. Um, the fact that they haven't been done is uh, an indication that I think a lot of these colleges believe this will just blow over. It's not going to blow over. Yeah, and sadly, you know, looking over this list, there were a lot of failing grades on it. Uh, Princeton received an F, Stanford got an F, Georgetown got a D, and the list just went on and on and on. Um, explain to us the grading system and the criteria the Anti-Defamation League used for this report card. So the criteria was... Is the college acknowledging and taking steps to remedy what happens? Nobody was graded down because students are misbehaving, because that's not on the college. Um, the, the question was, is the college doing anything to rein in the misbehavior? So to give you an example, um, two nights ago, in a place that was permitted, posters of hostages were put up at Harvard, and the next morning, they were gone. And that's not okay. Absolutely. Robert Wolby, thank you so much for your time today. So much we could talk about, but we have to leave it right there. We appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate